Hey everybody, this is Hawk Sky Flyer Jerry uh, doing another video here on my Black Beauty here and uh, my LT1 here. Uh, it's 2017 Silverado 2500 HD. I am in the midst of taking and I'm going to put lights in the bed. And I had some lights, but I didn't really care for them, so I, I went and bought these off of Amazon. And I've seen a couple of videos on here, pretty nice. It says there's 3M tape on there. Well, it's a red tape, but it, it doesn't say 3M, which 3M always says 3M on it. So it's, hopefully it'll last, but these are uh, four strands. Or should I say four lights on each, but I'm just going to uh, tie these together. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four. And jump over here, one, two, three, four. And then what I got, there's a reason I'm doing this is because trying to figure out how to run power back here and because I got the rubber mat down the bottom and the plastic side but what I did is I cut that off all the way around so there is no floor to the plastic bed rail because I didn't want that and it was too high and but anyway what I'm doing is I took out that plastic cap right there and I put this lighted switch in there. I drilled a hole and filed it out a little bit and made it so she's, she's really snug. So this will light up when I turn this on and it'll be in that hole, just like that one there. So what I did is I ran the wires down. You just shoved them down there and uh, get underneath here. And buddy, my good old Dave, best friend ever. Showed me that you got this these blocks down here. And you got the one on the end, one, two, three, four, and then that's actually a dummy plug. There's nothing going to it. But anyway, this end one is actually, he pointed out, if I can <laughs> get this to work, inside this loom. There's a white wire, and it's, of course, it's way on the top. It's a white wire, but it has a violet stripe on it. I'm turning it around there. White with a purple or violet stripe on it. And it goes to this end plug. And you just push up on a plug. <laughs> or just peel it off like I did. And there's three wires. I got the white and the violet and then a gray or black and then I really can't tell what the other one is. Or is it two wires? No, there's three. The white and purple and a black and a gray. But anyway, just probe it. And what I did is I found out which one was the power. And that is the power that comes from the reverse lights for your mirrors. So basically, on 2500s, Chevys, 15s, whatever they got, they have this switch here, which turns the reverse lights on in your mirrors. And that sends power back to that wire. So what I did, probably not the cutest, but I just, and it's just a dummy plug on there. I don't know what I did with it, but it's just a, oh, here it is. It's just a dummy plug. And what you do is you squeeze these two ends, squeeze them, and it opens up. I'm going to point with my finger, but the phone don't go down. It opens up them little tabs in there, and you just pull that right off. So then what I did is I took the wire, I put a, a crimp on it, or what do you call it, a, a spade, and then I just shrink tube it and stuck it on a wire. So now what I'll do, because obviously I don't want that open, I'll just take and I'll just put massive black tape on there because I don't have the plug. And this little doodah here, you can't add a plug or anything. It's just, it's a dummy plug. I suppose you could punch the hole out or whatever, but I don't have the right connection for that. So. I'll just wad that up with uh, black tape, um, maybe some uh, black tape, duct tape, duct tape, and black tape, and 
And then I will have power back here. And then I can just ground the wire. Because I'll have right up there, that's the tail light in that hole. Those are the tail light wires. So it comes from straight up there. So I'm really not drilling any holes anywhere. It comes from down there. And then the, the, the negative wire, I'll just I'll find a spot somewhere down in here. Probably like... Uh, maybe that'll have to drill a hole just in the rear bumper right here. Or maybe I got a nut or whatever to put in there and that hole with a nut or a bolt or whatever. But I'll find a place to ground it. So then, when I... Uh, get that. Uh, getting old. So when I turn the light on in there, the reverse lights and all that come on, then I can come back here, hit this switch, and it'll light up the bed. Because what happens is... For me, I wanted lights because it even turns those lights on. But when I put the tonneau cover on here, I got DJ stuff. So when I'm loading, unloading it, uh, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning and doing a wedding or something like this, you can't see squat. And I'm not going to open this up just so I can put a few things back in here. So I'll have this switch. And then if I forget to turn that off, it won't drain my battery because I was going to. I was going to go ahead and just send it to uh, the 12-volt the plug on the... On the seven pin I was just gonna do that and I thought but if I forget it close it and close the deck or close the gate I close the gate here then you forget about it and you walk in the truck and you come up the next day and your batteries are dead and I got two of them and I don't want that so my buddy said hook it up to that so that's that's actually GM's way anyway but I just don't have the plug I'm just uh, I have my name is Jerry so I'm jury rigging it and I'll just do that and then it is this also is a lighted plug and trust me these yellow ones are pretty bright so I, once I close that gate, I should see it. But uh, if I forget to turn this off, not a big deal. Because either way, i got to turn the switch off inside the cab, which will then turn this light off anyway. So anyway, I'm not done with it, but i got a little bit to do. i just got to figure out how to wire this up. I'll call my buddy Arlen. He knows how to wire these things up. But I will uh, wire that up so then I'll have power and the switch will turn on. And then I'll just add these lights. I'll take a picture when I'm done. All right, be back in a bit. All right, here, Hawk Sky Flyer back, back with the tailgate lights, or the bed lights. I'm all done. It is actually the next day. Actually, I ended up with uh, lights I put underneath the, the rear seats, or I'll just under the, the front seats underneath so it shines on the back floor. And then I got them under the front here. There are some uh, P94 LED lights that I got off of Amazon. But um, you take... Your reverse lights on there and go to the back of the truck and in who's dark in here but uh right here on this side you can see i got oh i got a plug there but it's actually the next day but i have a lighted switch there and i got the lights underneath the bed rails so i got two up in the front two in the back on the left side, two in the front, two in the back, and on the right also. <clears throat> and I got the, the tonneau covers on, my tonneau pro cover, which I like actually. But with that in, in, now I can see what's going on in here. I got a bucket in here. And uh, got that going. And I got it tied in with the reverse lights, just like the factory does. The only thing that I can see that I actually kind of did wrong, turn the light on here is you can see it's pretty light out oh uh, now nah, i won't open the door but i'll turn these off turn them off and then those lights are off there and in the meantime even though i left these on they don't work now because they're tied in with the reverse lights so which is cool well not the reverse but the, the switch for the, the reverse lights off the mirrors but the one thing I did figure out when I was done is both of these lights, they were three LEDs on a, on a bank. And the fourth one, the fourth light, had no wire out the back. So it'd be like this. You got the wire coming in, the three lights, one, two, three. Then there's a wire out, wire out, and then there's a plug in the middle, which I don't understand why. But then if this was the fourth one, there's no wire out, so you can't carry on. So what I did 
is I took, I hooked these up so the long wire was here. So over here, I spliced into the last wire and then fed the wire all the way through the front of, so I had to take my towel cover off and then I got my plastic bed liner. Had to take all the rails off, so I dropped the wire inside so it fell down halfway where there was a, a, a loop there, a hole pocket. And then I connected it over here and then I ran these wires. So at these wires, this is the end. So I got one, two, three, four. The fourth one is a long wire that I went all the way over to here and tied it in with this one. To make life a little easier, I was thinking about this um, the other night when, uh, or last night when I got done with it. These four lights could have went here, but like they did. These four lights could go here. The long wire, I could have drooped through the inner bed rail. There's, there's an actual um, uh, a made hole underneath. I could have followed it underneath the bed rail over here, up in here, and connected it to this wire. That would have been a lot freaking easier than taking all the tonneau cover off, you know, the, both rails, rolling the cover up and setting the cover off, and I just put it on the roof and set it up there for now, but that would have been a lot easier and a lot cleaner, but a lot nicer, I should have said, the cleaner. It's all the wires tucked behind everything, so you can't see nothing, so it, it's, it looks very nice, but uh, I don't have a decent light in here, flashlight, but anyway, that's what I got, so if you're interested, that's how we did it. Lights on eBay, or excuse me, Amazon, um, the switches were on Amazon I bought a last year, a couple years ago, because I put those on my four-wheeler here. So I got those right there. You get like blue, yellow, green, and red. Five of each one, so you got 20, 20 lights. They work really nice. They're 12 volt. They're waterproof. So anyway, that's what I did with the big black beauty here. So uh, any questions, let me know. Link them down below. Um, I'm not going to ask for your subscription because I don't really care. Um, I'm not those guys. But uh, this is what I did. I'm just doing videos just to show you what I did. If I can make your life easier how I did it. Hopefully I did. And that's good. Thumbs up. See you guys later. See ya.